Hey folks, this is another video. Today I'm going to talk about shields, I'm going to talk about daggers, uh, both dual wield and single wield, two handers, and single wield swords. Now, the easiest means that I personally have found to do all of these things is to first go into your database, go down to types, and design a, a layout of whatever the type of weapons that you want in your game. Now you can set this in alphabetical order, or you can go ahead and set it by the actual type itself. For instance, I have fist weapons, smaller weapons, magical bonus weapons, arrows, bows, that sort of thing, possibly guns and then miscellaneous two-handed weapons. Now, you want to design all three of these lists first before you start creating your weapons and your armor, as this is an easier way of not breaking things and not having to go back and redo things that you've already accomplished. Once these lists are set, if you were to, let's say, delete spears and move two-handed swords up, your two-handed swords that you currently, I'll show this in a moment, have currently set will no longer work. You'll have to go back and adjust them. And this will be a major pain, especially if you have a huge database of items. So the same thing with armor class, armor type. You want to design all your armors ahead of time. You know, you're going to have mail, armor, plate, scale mail, that sort of thing. You want to design all these ahead of time. Now one thing that's important to know is if you have these lists set, again, do not change them once they're set and you start creating a bunch of, you know, a bunch of items. You can further add to the list though if you forget something. It won't be in order but at least you can continuously add. Let's say I forgot um, I wanted you know, like long dagger or something. That's I don't even know if that's a real thing but I could put that on the bottom of the list and not have to worry about my my items being broke later on and me having to go back manually adjust them. Same thing again with with armor. Um, one of the two things that you'll note right off the bat is that I changed the weapon to main hand and the name of shields to offhand. I went ahead and added the armor class of offhand weapon, as that's the, e that's the easiest way that I found to be able to equip offhanded weapons. If you come up to your class and you go ahead and say, okay, well, this class can equip daggers, swords, two-handers, shields, and offhands. And you're going to come to your actor, whoever they are, and you're going to click here, and you're going to add that class. Now that actor is going to have the class of testing class. It'll be able to equip all these things which are from your list. And here. This third list is going to appear when you pause the game and go into your actual equipment and inventory slot. So we have our weapons. I've created a dagger, a sword, and a two-hand. For simplicity's sake, I erased the columns over here and just kept attack physical. When you create a weapon, you're going to name it, whatever you want to name it. Give it your weapon type. Because these are daggers, they're going to be labeled under daggers. And give it an animation. From there, I figured daggers could probably have a low attack power, but give you a higher agility because you have a small weapon weighs less. Swords is the same concept. Check swords, give it an animation. 
give it a higher attack power than your daggers because they're swords. They're probably going to do more damage, they weigh more. Two-handed swords, again, same concept. Check two-hand, give it an animation, higher attack power. Come down to armor. Created an offhand dagger. That dagger is going to be under your armor type. Specific one that you made, which is offhand weapons. And that's going to cover any offhand weapon that you want. If you want like fist weapons or things like that, that's an easy category for anything that you want to be able to dual wield. Next, we're going to come down here and we're going to say, well, what equipment slot does it go in? It goes in your offhand. Again, this is defaulted as shields. Gets confusing, that's why I renamed it. Makes it easier. Attack, defense. I figured if you have an extra dagger in your hand, you may say, hey, it gives you extra defense because you can parry with it better. Finally, shields. Probably going to have more defense than just your typical dagger. They're going to be under the shield category, and again, they're going to be equipped in your offhand slot. Okay, now that we have that established, let me show you what it kind of looks like. Alright. We got our items in our inventory. They all show up. Doing good there. They got all their descriptions, so that's good. And they got their descriptions, so we're doing good. I specifically put this in play so that the player knows that it's only an offhand weapon, because this name could be whatever you want to name it, as the item name itself. So in the description, it's just nice and convenient for the player to know that it's an, only an offhand weapon. The change of symbol is easier to view, especially if you have a longer list of items as well. Right. so we're going to come into equipment. We're look at this and we're going to say, okay, we got dagger, swords, two hands. Well, I want to equip this dagger here. Yep. Go into offhand, say, I want to equip the shield. Cool. Now I got a dagger and a shield. What if I don't want that? What if I want the sword? Bam. What if I... I don't want the shield? I want to equip the dagger here. Okay, now we have a sword and an offhand. If I want to do a wheel dagger. Well, what if I want this two-handed sword? It's supposed to be two-handed, right? If you notice, just the, de uh, just the sword, and we're not allowed to equip a two-handed weapon. Why is this? Last little step when deciding two-handed weapons is to come back to your database, Go to weapons, wherever your two-handed weapon is, feel your offhand slot. Do equipment, see equipment, and your offhand slot. That way no offhand weapons or items can be equipped. One last thing to note is that if we come up to classes and we decide, hey, I don't want to be able to dual wield with shields, sword board kind of style. Well, you can get rid of the ability under classes for shields, and your character will no longer be able to equip shields. Say you no longer want to do dual wield with this class. You get rid of the offhand weapon, which is under your armor type, and they'll no longer be able to equip two hand or offhand weapons. And that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.